the Christmas that question. It sounds like we're not going to get to Sergeant Agia today. So I need to have more information than I have now to make a ruling on this issue. But if he asks it, I think Garrity precludes him from asking. I'm sorry, Garrity precludes him from asking. If, if, if Mr. Martinez is told from any source what Mr. Christman said during his Garrity protected interview, it cannot be used in his criminal proceeding. So however he got it, if it's, even if it wasn't, let's say somebody gave him uh, Mr. Christman's interview, uh, probably be a mistrial, but it's something beyond that. It can't be used against him. And that's what he's trying to do. I did not obtain uh, ex-officer Christman's Garrity interview. This was provided to me at the time that Officer Virgilio testified. What is the this? Pardon? What is the this? I still don't understand. The statement was provided to me uh, when Officer Virgilio was testifying. And the statement is that the defendant said to Officer Agia, he swore you, motherfucker, get back, you know. He's yelling at the dog. He admits, Chrisman admits, that he puts the gun to Daniel's head. That's the statement that was provided to me by the defendant. It's a waiver. Who's the speaker? Julie Agia. She was the hearer. Who, I don't, it's not clear whether, how does Virgil fall into this conversation? The only reason he falls in is because that's how, they're asking how I came into possession of it. It's part of his statement. I, I think, let me, I, I should have started this way. Now that, I, I think I understand. When I attempted to impeach um, Sergio Virgillo with the interviews that Julia Gia had conducted with him, the court ordered that I give him a copy, him being Mr. Martinez, a copy of those interviews. I gave him those interviews, and I think that's what he's reading from. Is that... That is correct, and it's a statement from Chrisman to Igea. Okay. Now, then the issue is whether uh, Gary precludes its use. And I do not believe that it does, since it was, there was a waiver here. They what, provided. what was the waiver? That they provided you that information pursuant to my order that they do so? No, they provided it be, because they were attempting to use it in an affirmative fashion to impeach Officer Virgillo. That's well, what they, they weren't using Christman's statement to Agia to impeach Virgillo. They were using Virgillo's statement to Agia to impeach Virgillo. They were using a statement that included all of this information in it. Uh, the statement that I was provided did include a statement from the defendant. They can't parse it out and say to you, well, we're going to use this statement to impeach Officer Virgillo. But part of the statement, let's keep it out because it's protected by Garrity. So your definition of a statement is once it's, it's started, a statement is, is by everybody then? This statement is by the defendant, yes, if that's what you're asking. Well, but they, they use the Virgil portion of right. the Agia investigation right. to impeach Virgil. Right. And you're now arguing that that act allows you to use Chrisman's statement to Agia to impeach Chrisman. No, that's not what I'm arguing. I'm saying that the same statement that was used to impeach Virgil included a statement from the defendant to Agia. This, one, let's assume it's just a one page interview. This one page interview included statements from Virgilio and included statements from Chrisman in it. It's one document that includes statements from both of them. And it was turned over to me by the defendant at the time that they were attempting to impeach Virgilio with the statements. By coincidence, Agio writes a two-paragraph report. It happens to be on the same page. Paragraph one is what Chrisman told Agia. Paragraph two is what Virgilio told Agia. Uh, Agia. They impeach Virgilio with Agia's statement. You're believing because it's on the same piece of paper 
pamphlet it allows you to impeach Christman with his Christmas statement to Aegea. No, that's not that. The hypothetical is incorrect. This is the statements that are made. It's not a narration. They're actual statements. For example, there is a question that is asked and there is an answer that is provided. It's all part of the conversation. There's a question and answer with the GIA and right. Christman. There's a separate action of statements by Christman, by Virgilio to a GIA. I, I guess maybe I'm, I'm not... You, you're not in the same room at the same time. Is Christman and Virgil at the same in the same room at the same time? No, they're not in the room at the same time. So it's not like one is acquiescence by silence because of someone else's statement. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is the fact that they provided it to me. I'm not saying that Christman uh, acquiesced to this disclosure back then. What I'm saying is that by using it now, they acquiesce to this statement. Now. What they used was the Virgil portion of the Aegea report. No, what they used was the Chrisman and Virgil portion of the report. That's just not true, Your Honor. I mean, it's just not true. The only people speaking on that tape that that transcript refers to are Sergeant Aegea, uh, Officer Klein, and Sergio Virgillo. Okay, Chrisman is not even anywhere near this. Okay. And was the statement a Garrity statement? Yes. Mr. Martinez, what's your position on that statement? Well, I don't know if it's a Garrity statement if they're using it to talk to Virgillo about it because it's protected against everybody, not just not just for Mr. Christman. So when they use it, it's no longer a Garrity protected statement because they're talking to Virgilio about it. When Sergeant Nagia is talking to Officer Christman, have they afforded Officer Christman the Hobson's choice of answer my questions or be fired? Absolutely. The same thing they did with Virgilio. Same thing. Right. Does he know? The court does not find that the the Rule 15 disclosure pursuant to the court's 611 order uh, waived the Garrity issue with respect to Mr. Office, Mr. Christman's statement to Sergeant Magia, uh, which was provided only under a threat of being fired. So the court would preclude that line of inquiry. Is, I guess my, my request is wasn't the same constraints placed on Officer Virgilio that it was provided under duress of being fired, the same as the defendant? And, and at that point, those statements did come in? If that's a request to reconsider either of my rulings, that Pardon? request is denied. I'm sorry, I didn't hear. If that's a request that I reconsider either of my evidentiary rulings, that request is denied. Anything else? No. Mr. Gant. I think we're ready, Judge. All right. Do you have your exhibits? Mr. Martinez, do you have your exhibits lined up? Or you need no, I did not have those ready. All right. All right. We'll let Mr. Martinez get set up, and then we'll bring the jurors in.